Greetings, my fellow servants of the God Emperor. Welcome back to Rogue Trader. My apologies for the huge delay in between the episodes. I was moving and, uh, you know, it, uh, it was a process. <laughs> so uh, there was not much time to record. I've got my setup finally, and uh, it's all looking pretty all right now. So once again, we'll uh, be back on a more regular schedule for uh, recordings from now. I do have the DLC installed, however, I don't think we can access it at this point in the game. So uh, yeah, that's just how it is. No, uh, no DLC content just yet. We'll get there though. Uh, here in uh, Act 4, you can uh, start to activate it and enjoy the new content. But anyways, we just left the uh, Terravantius' uh, anatomical opera, and it looks like we have angered the Cult of the Fatal Thirst. One of the uh, uh, Fatal Thirst chaps, the witches, Catalyte warrior even. You have insulted the Cult of the Fatal Thirst, outsider. You have insulted the fighting pit itself. The witches are longing for you to die. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um... So what do we... Oh, a grotesque. Okay. That's awesome. And I love the homunculus. Or, uh, the homunculus uh, aesthetic. They just look really cool. The tormented captives. All right. We got some uh, random slaves that have been turned against us. Cabalite warriors, a thrall master. Cabalite rangers, some random Drukari that aren't getting involved. Awfully nice of him. Uh, the wreck here doesn't appear to be an enemy. That's good to know. Um, and... Uh, yeah, more Cabalites. No uh, witches, though. You'd think that the witches would be here to uh, deal with us. Anyways, uh, of course, get to try out Marazai here. But let's uh, let's put everybody into position. So, we have some dickheads over there that are probably going to try and shoot us. Who's going to be first? Okay. We're all going to get pretty quick. So, Idira is going to act first, I think. Or at least... Cyrene's gonna act first. Is Idira gonna act first? Yes, Idira will still act first. So we'll put Cyrene away from things. There's no cover. Does Ilfar count as cover? He should. <laughs> um, so Idira will be able to act soon. I think she's gonna have to do some work on that thingy over there. Irliet. There's absolutely no good place for Irliet to be standing right now. I'm actually gonna put her where Cyrene is. Cyrene is... Yeah, it's less important that she's not in close combat. Than, than early at. We have uh, Heinrichs here. He can engage in close combat against these jerks. And then what? Like, yeah, Ulfar. Ulfar can just take up the center. He can he can go duel the grotesque. That's a more even fight. I love it. They're like the same size. <laughs> okay. So, Idira will go first. That is great. Fantastic. So, we're going to drop a rear line... We don't have Argento with us. Um, oh boy. Uh, can I get Irliet and somebody else here? I guess it's just going to be us two. All right. Is. Well, this is going here then. Front line. I mean, this is sure as hell about to be a front line. <laughs> Let's drop that there. And a back line for reduction... Like dodge reduction. I think we'll put a back line oh, that's going to intersect right there, huh? Yeah, there's just not really any good place for it. I'll put it here. Why not? We have our own little territory. Okay, first things first. Drop a sensory deprivation on the grotesque. What, of course. And I think we need to start providing some defenses for various characters. So let's drop a forewarning on Marzai. He's going to be in the thick of it. And uh, we could drop a Psychic Assault. We have a 7-cell cone. We could do some work with that, I think. If I, I put her talk. right here... Let me just do, like, a Psychic Assault. Oh, my God. Uh, Fucking brutal. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that point gone, more or less. Uh, prescience on Heinrichs. I'm sure Heinrichs loved to have... Uh, Unsanctioned psychers messing around with his brain. Yep, looking good. That was a good first turn. Idira, we have uh, given a place to do things, and I like that. Okay, I'm going to actually Who drop a forewarning me? on Idira. Because she can die pretty quickly. And I think I'll drop a prescience oh, on Irliet. She can benefit from some extra mental stats. 
And then I've got four action points left. You can actually drop a uh, consign on the grotesque here, so that's going to guarantee the next hit against it's going to be a crit. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to do it's the usual and give one of our nasty ranged characters, in this case, early at I'll see to a it turn to go do some work. She's got three action points. Um. Yeah, we're gonna, of course, combine this with Killing Edge. I'm not in cover, so... Perfect spot for once is just not gonna be useful. You do not have an opening on you, so we're going to aim for the opening on the if Grotesque. Your cause. And then... So let's see here. Elusive Shadow could be good. I'm actually gonna do Elusive this Shadow because that's gonna me. also benefit her defensively, and then drop a Killing Edge on the Grotesque, see how much this is going to do. Solid. More than two-thirds of its health gone in one hit. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, Inquisitor's Tenets increase our momentum by 50. I don't know if we need to do that right now, because we're looking pretty good. I am not a vessel for pain, I am its master. <laughs> Your thing, whatever you say, Marzai, whatever you say. So, we're going to first charge this guy. Unless there's things... Okay, we, we have Elusive Shadow with him as well. Maybe I should take that. And... What is this? Joyful Torture. Deal strength, bonus, rending damage to himself. And he starts bleeding. While Myers Eye is bleeding, he gains three resolve. <laughs> Alright, let's kill this one. Alright. Yep, he is now missing more limbs than he was moments ago. So, you already have an opening on you, so we can do a, uh, a Death Whisper here on this jerk. Should kill him. Didn't kill him. Well, then we got this. Dance Macabre. No. Aim for the opening, or we do... We just do a regular melee attack with the with the sickle? Well, we have momentum already. Alright. You know what? You know what? Let's let's give Marazai a test. So we're gonna drop that there. I'm then going to drop momentum as we go and do a daring breach. So he can run on right here, get into the uh, actually get to that side. He won't be gaining the benefits from the front line, unfortunately. But I reckon he's gonna do some damage. Ooh, we could actually do this. Huh. Okay. So after his use of this ability, so I, I misread that. Dash is in a straight line for up to four cells, suffering nine less damage from attacks of opportunity and gaining 14 dodge against the enemies they dash through until the assassin's next turn. Okay, so, ah, I shouldn't have done that there. Um, well, we have aim for the opening, so Bells. we can still benefit from this one way or another. So let's use our sickle here. Don't oh, what a useless plaything! Broken already. Yeah, all right. I'm disappointed. Well, uh, you have an opening. So, look, pal. Bells. You're gonna run on over here. Fantastic. Kill him too. Oh, he lived. What the fuck? Um, okay. Well, he's alive. That is most unfortunate. Anyways, Marzai did some work. I'm still, uh, you know, I gotta figure out how to use him. This is the very first time we used him in combat. And, uh, not bad. Quick, quick! So they're all attacking Heinrichs. Oh, they did hit him and actually dealt quite a lot of damage. Alright, Ulfar. Ulfar's got his bolt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. You guys are about to have a real bad time. Do we have controlled shot? Sure do. Well then, uh, luck. I think it's time to, uh, kick this guy away. Then we can charge the Thrallmaster there. Play. <laughs> oh my god. 
Ah, we should have dropped Sean for an approach. Anyways, uh, Ulfar fun. Can't confirm. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's have early get rid of that guy. I so, drop Elusive Shadow. Drop uh, Poise to Strike on him. I am not your Xenos pet, he's already got an opening, so I think he's basically just dead. Serves your cause, oh, death look. With my hands. He's dead. What a surprise. Uh, who's left? Not much. Not much at all. Well... You're lying on the ground. Oh, double kill? No, that'll hit Ulfar. We don't want that. This tedium has been I hear you moving. No more. Yeah, look, pal. Shouldn't have uh shouldn't have been born a Druki. Were you even a Druki? I think he was a human slave. Wrong place, wrong time, buddy. Alright, uh invigorate? Let's see to it. Heinrichs is like, I have nothing to do here. Yeah. Just... Naturally. Be gone. Yeah. Be gone. Well, they're dead. Oh, hello, Nocturne. The already familiar baritone calls out to you from the shadows. The key unlocks a door that then will lead to one that only happenstance will free. Your chance I'll be, to me the bolts will cede. Your part comes next to break the bonds and flee. <laughs> to you, the merchant vagabond, I bring the gift of providence. But will you look? At the sight of Marajai, the Harlequin lets out a nasty chuckle. The trapper caught in snares of his own make. The plotting of your play was up to snuff. But Nazrake rewrote the denouement, decided in the darkness of the wings. Amidst the somber spires and hunter's game, tis wise to stop and once more check your knives. For that which glittered in your hand before, you may now find a twinkling in your back. Um... Okay, I think he's telling us don't trust Marazai. Yeah, I mean, really? Marazai is squirming with. Okay, no, actually, I think he's talking to Marazai. <laughs> Marazai is squirming with rage, and he does not dare to. Uh, uh, he does not dare to unleash on the Harlequin here and now. He hisses through clenched teeth. All who have taken part in my downfall will be exterminated. And sooner than you thought, my merchant thief. Just like a drop of ink you fell upon the page before this play's dramatic end, wherein your own kin's blood you will see shed. Perform the lines required, and vengeance will descend upon the stage and play its part, and then away from spires on merchant's trail, across worlds of parlous road you'll tread, and death you will find there, or else a path to remedy your second enemy. Second enemy, huh? Who is my second enemy? We don't really know. I mean, well, uh, no, sorry. The Final Dawn. Right? Or is the Final Dawn our first enemy? I, I feel like the Final Dawn is our first enemy. So who's our second enemy? Would have thought it was Marazai, but... We've, uh, we've already dealt with him. Unless he's telling us how to... Maybe actually win Marzai's loyalty, if such a thing can be done? To remedy your second enemy. It's not saying, like, defeat your second enemy. It's saying remedy your second enemy. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot to unpack in these lines. Being cryptic as usual. Marzai dis... Or he's still talking to Marzai. Marzai dis digests the Harlequin's words in silence. At last, a shadow of the usual smirk flashes on his face. Oh. I... I hear you, Arabenian. Right, of course, the, uh, at least the Drukari call the Harlequins Arabenians. Perhaps the, uh, Inari, not the Inari, the, uh, Azuryani do as well. You have helped me more than once already. I am listening. Both opening and warning is my boon. Your fate hangs by a thread drawn breaking tight. But with the show of patience opportune, the merchant certain death will turn to flight. Hmm. Patience opportune. We have a chance. That's what he's saying. We just need to be patient and then seize the opportunity when it presents itself. You stride not into battle but a snare of guile and strife, a neatly woven net. Lust's mistress lifts her sword into the air and baying for your blood her pack does set. 
So dance a ring around oblivion, a way to sign from night's own melody, catch sight of it, and then make haste to be gone. One yawning mouth, one leap to set you free. Okay, so we can f just figure this out. So Kekaros is planning to kill me in the next fight, but you are but you are ready to effect my escape. All I must do is survive the arena, wait for your sign, then run. You cannot possibly mean into a literal mouth, so you must mean for me to leap into a portal of some kind. Do I have that right? The Harlequin sweeps into a low bow like an actor who has performed before a true lover of high art. He seems satisfied with your answer. Nice. So Iconoclast gives us this. That's interesting. The Xenos lays a finger over the mute lips of his mask and then vanishes, as if to convey that your conversation is a great secret known only to the two of you, and all the other people watching, and the Drukari that are standing there down the street, probably also listening. But aside from that, it's just between us. Not these guys, though. Don't think they're listening anymore. Uh, uh, alright, let's loot the dead. So, what do we got here? We got some heavy great swords. Honestly, I don't need any heavy great swords. So, these are all gonna go away. Uh, incubus armor. We've got plenty of incubus armor. And by plenty, I mean one, which is really all we need. Do we need another Cabalite splinter rifle? That is kind of good. I'll hold on to it. It's got, it's got stats. I mean, they all have stats, but... What the hell is this? A fucking Dark Lance. Oh my lord. Um, Marjai, can I respect you into... No, he's an assassin. I can't respect him into, like, a heavy weapon wielder. Though it would be cool. <laughs> Who could I give it... I, I could give it to Irliet. If I gave a Drukari weapon proficiency. That'd be wild. Another fucking Dark Lance. I don't think we need two Dark Lances, so that's going to go into inventory. Where are we storing all of this stuff? Okay, Cabalite Splinter Rifle. You can go into cargo. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Um, so, it's been a while since I... Keep your wits about you. Um, answered any comments. However, I do recall there was a comment saying I should head back to the pit and have a chat with uh, Heinrichs. That he probably has some things to say about our current choice of companions. Which, gee, I wonder why. I think he's coming to terms with the fact that I have an Eldari, an Asuriani, but like, Drakari's a step too far, surely. Then again, Calcazar did say we would be allowed our, uh, you know, our own little funny business because we're a rogue trader, so open. I'm sure he'll accept it. And, you know what, if he wants to keep track of Marajai and kill him if Marajai does anything suspicious, that's, that's well and fine. He's allowed to do so. Who am I to uh, stand in the way of a, well, not an Inquisitor, but an Interrogator? Actually, I can stand in the way of an interrogator, I think. I don't think interrogator can pull rank on a rogue trader. <laughs> right. So, uh, let's have a look around. Let's talk to everybody once more before we uh, disappear. Let us raise our cups at Vator. In honor of deeds accomplished and in expectation of those yet to come. Okay. Fenris Hilda at Vator. Fenris Hilda. Lord Captain. Okay. None of them really have much more to say. What about Marzai? Rogue trader. We already talked about Kimura. Do not keep me waiting too long. My weapon is tired of languishing in its sheath. Mm -hmm. Where is Heinrich? Does Argenta have anything more to say? No. May Terra's light be with you, Rogue Trader. Seems like there's a, a little bit more, uh... Dialogue. I don't know if all that had dialogue. What do you have to say here? Lord Captain, it's you. I thought it was another voice creeping into my head. She's not doing too well. We'll, we'll have to uh, keep an eye on her. See if we can find something that'll 
help her. Usually it's also not doing you very well. You came back from the dark, Ellen Tark? Unharmed. Yes. So says a butterfly struggling in the dark city's web. I will be close, Ellen Tark. And I will support you in the coming trials. If you choose to let me. I certainly will. Okay, where the hell is Heinrichs? Oh, we can't go up that way. Okay. Where's eyes here? Heinrichs! Where are you at? These are all shriekers. Is he gonna be standing behind my throne? What, what can I do in the den? Everyone's here. Oh, interesting. Okay. All I can do is, I do not wish to be disturbed. Ah, he's here. I just... I'm blind. In Malice! How are you doing? Alright, still a snake. Okay. Heinrichs. Heinrichs's stare seems to pass straight through you, but his face is tense, almost to the point of twitching. He nods wordlessly to you. How is your recuperation progressing? It will take some time. I can heal grievous wounds and correct disfigurement, but remake my nerve endings from scratch. Such delicate and painstaking work is beyond my capabilities. Every day with you brings new challenges. Uh-oh. Maybe he's mad at me. Uh... Am I mistaken, or is the present company making you uncomfortable? Do you actually want to hear what I have to say on the topic? Or was that just a polite turn of phrase that demands only an equally polite and insincere you are mistaken, Lord Captain. I wish to know your opinion. I hope you do not need me to tell you that taking any Drukhari into your retinue is a stunt that falls somewhere between blasphemous heresy and incredible foolishness. Let alone a Drukhari who has already succeeded in bringing myriad calamities down on our heads. I cannot imagine even one good reason why you should have taken this step, but I can think of plenty of bad ones, and that is what alarms and troubles me. Uh. Iliad is directly responsible for us being lured into her kin's trap. They plotted against us together. Mm. That she herself ended up a captive only shows how nefarious and brutal these creatures are by their very nature. Whatever story she spun you, it was the height of naivety to believe it. I'm going to disagree with you on there. I will agree with you on account of Myrside, though. <laughs> I, I have no defense for myself on that front. If I may be candid, I have certain reservations yeah, about you would. Ulfar. There is no question that he is one of the Astartes, the divine warriors of the Emperor, and his help will be invaluable in our attempts to escape Kamora. However, as legions go, <laughs> the Space Wolves are extremely distinctive. I can't reveal all that I know without breaking the prohibitions of the Inquisition, but I'm asking you, be careful when dealing with the warrior. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I'm not saying that. He might try and kill Irliet. And honestly, Irliet, I think, had a decent reason to kill Scalander. What do you know about this place? Regrettably, little. Kamora is the city of the Drukhari, the sprawling Xenos domain built in the very plexus of the webway. This is the home of their cabals, and the launch point for their raids into real space. The Xenos' most supreme leaders dwell within the shadows of this place, and this is where the Drukhari bring their bounty, as they have brought us. I would tell you more, but I can't. Not because of the prohibitions of the Inquisition, but because the information is fragmentary and unverified. Hmm. Based on what we have learned here, we are in the prison of one of the arenas where the Drukhari killed their prisoners as public entertainment. These Xenos feed off pain, which means that entertainments like this are not a whim, but a necessity for these abominations. They need pain more than they need air to breathe. And so these performances must be held unceasingly, and raids to acquire new victims must continue without interruption. 
How can we escape this place? I cannot offer a ready-made escape plan. But I do know that the Drukari are constantly vying and warring with one another. Their chiefs take pains to keep their servants from complete mutual destruction. Perhaps, if you could find a way to exploit their personal feuds, we will have the faintest chance of survival and an opportunity to slip away. And that, Heinrichs, is where Marisai comes in. The Emperor protects. All right. I am not going to tell him about what happened to Achilles Scalander. Better he just doesn't know. So, uh, how are we going to go about this? Because we got to go into the arena. I think I'm just going to bring the same party. As much as I'd like to bring Abelard and Argenta. Um, I'm like, who would I drop right now? We have three... No, two new party members who I definitely want to use. Um, honestly, Idira has been pretty fun lately. I, I could have dropped Heinrichs, actually. Maybe I should drop Heinrichs and bring someone else instead. But no, let's uh, let's go to the arena. Well, I found the arena. Um, it took a little while. The map, I, I don't like how it does that, where the map kind of uh, forgets certain landmarks if you haven't been there in a little while. Uh, it's a little annoying. Wish it wouldn't do that. Because uh, there is indeed a giant portal. So we're going to go through the giant portal and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm sure no one will die. The Homunculus' minion, an unfamiliar monster even more terrifying than the previous one of the Homunculus' servants, bars your way. Its voice is as dry as death itself. Master, Taravanti has sent me. The Master wishes for you to send Kekaros on a swift journey to She Who Thirsts. Do not expect a fair fight. This is your execution. However, Kekaros is incapable of adequately assessing whatever she fails to comprehend, and therefore you stand a chance, albeit a negligible one. Alright. Should you survive, do not return here. The witches will seek revenge, which is why the Master has already left the chasm and found new patrons. He suggests you do the same. So says the Master. The monotony and accuracy with which the monster repeats Taravantius' words reminds you of the way servitors communicate. Interesting. This is interesting. Taravantius is actually... Like, he didn't need to do this. I mean, I guess it's to his benefit that we kill Kekaros, but... You know, giving us a warning so that we can survive, that is... different. So we have been thrown to the witches. Even if we survive this fight, we will not survive the retribution of the Dark City. I hope the Arabenian knows exactly what is, how his play is going to end. Will you go to your master now? The master does not need me anymore. I'll go kill somebody, get their pieces, and make myself stronger. Yep, you go do that. Have fun. <laughs> It's not like me killing that thing is going to make this place any better. So, the arena fight commences. Final escape. There they are. Ooh, we got Incubi up there. That's awesome. Some Drukari civilians. If there is such a thing. Are these actually Drukhari? I think so. They must be. Thirsters, do you want to witness a great legend as ancient as Kamora itself? I give it to you. Fuck. Seer Lael was a mighty warrior of her cult, renowned and deadly. Her dance of battle was an entrancing perfection of terror. But then a time came when an audacious apprentice supplanted Seer Lael, turned her servants against her, and drove her out of the Dark City.
She wandered the webway's savage wilds and slew scores of their terrible horrors as she fought for her life. So I guess that's gonna be our boss. Are you Sir Lael? Oh, you're a Beastmaster. In the legend, she slew them all and pressed onward. But our story will be shorter. Kill! Are you Sir Lael? Alright, well, we got some uh, Chimera. We've dealt with Kill these before. Arms. Are you Sir Lael? No, you're just a skilled Beastmaster. Alright, what, what was the first line that she said? Okay, Thirsters, do you want to witness a great legend as ancient as Kimura itself? I give it to you now. Behold the tale of Sirleal the Exiled, the succubus dethroned. Okay, so, uh, who's the succubus in this story? I think we're supposed to be the succubus in this story. That's interesting. Um, Nadira, you can go there. Heinrichs, you can go right there. Ulfar, Ulfar, yeah, Ulfar can use cover. Let's put Ulfar... Actually, we'll just drop him right here in the middle. You know what? Screw it. He doesn't need it. Here, Liat, you can go right there. Marzipan, as uh, Robert says, uh, we'll go right there. All right. So, uh, rear. Honest. That's going to be here, Liat. You're going to be the rear. Congratulations. Backline. Backline will be... And we're going to put the back line right here. Not me. A little far, do some DACA from the back line. Front line, going to be right up here. Let's make sure they don't go anywhere. Uh, we're not going to be able to make sure they don't go anywhere unless I trigger one of my uh, combatants to go and get their attention. We could have Marazai do that, I suppose. Whoever it's going to be, I'm going to buff the hell out of. So let's actually give this to Marazai. Because he can, he can move. Like, he is highly mobile. So the question is, uh, we can drop perfect timing. Seems like a waste at this point. Uh, if we did another psychic power to get somebody else so that two people could be affected by perfect timing, we would only have two action points, which limits our use of other abilities here. So what I think I'm going to do instead is we're going to just give Marzai his, uh, his turn right now. And then we'll worry about what else we're going to do afterwards, depending on what he is capable of. So, what's his charge range? Can he get in there? He can't quite get in there. However, we do have Dance Macabre. Watch. All right, good. I thought that, like, glitched out there for a second. That would have been sad. So, um, you got two action points. I'd like to aim for the Don't opening right here. Me. Ah, okay. And now I can't charge. I just... Well, it's fine. We can still With get in there, so... It is, uh... Getting used to this. So, I don't want to use any of my other abilities just yet. What is this going to do? Um... Hmm. Dark Swiftness, huh? 40% dodge until the start of their next round. Honestly? Not a bad idea. So, let's uh, let's start with which weapon do we want to use? Poison's the enemy, huh? I think we want to use the Venom Blade here on this Chimera. Okay, and then we can use our Death Whisper with the main hand weapon to uh, do a whopping zero damage. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, uh oh. <laughs> we could light it on fire. Or do I just... Let's screw it and use uh, perfect timing. I'm going to use perfect timing on Mara's Eye. Or it's just going to affect Mara's Eye, but it's going to be good. And we still have two action points for some reason. Well, okay then. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well, in that case, I think I'm going to light this guy up. I'll make it happen. Set him ablaze! All right. Chimera's on fire. Uh, Idira, why don't you... Why don't you move right up to here? Movement in the Empyrean. Cover is not all that relevant. No, actually it is relevant. You have a hex rifle. Uh, well, too late now. That's blinder. Was... Was that you? Okay. Or... Then... 
Prescience on early yet? Out of range. Nuts. Well, then we're gonna try and get some damage in on this Chimera. See if we can't take one of them out. What's the Psychic Scream gonna do? It's gonna do something. Not too bad, ultimately. We could drop another forewarning on someone. Let's drop a forewarning on, honestly, on myself. Because I might get shot. Be unfortunate. What does this do? Vision of Death. Target must pass a willpower resistance test. If failed, the target suffers... The Psycho's Psy rating plus 30% of the target's current wounds. Mental damage. It's not that much. Well, let's Psychic Scream it. That's going to do more. Zero damage. Hmm. That's disappointing. <laughs> Let's just drop a Mind Bond doing? on Marazai. Why not? Okay. And do we... Nope, we got nothing. Okay. Well, that wasn't very effective. Nice. Counterattack. Oh, yeah. This is gonna this is gonna pay dividends. Buried. Okay, it only gets to trigger once. Apparently. Uh, here, Liette, you are in a if perfect I spot. Must, I drop Elusive Shadow. Let's drop Poise to Strike on... Who do I want to kill? Let's kill this one. Get some damage on that one. I know you shouldn't spread your damage out, but in this case, I think I want to. I am not your Great opening there. Alright. And we got ourselves a Killing Edge. How much damage is this going to do? Theoretically, a lot. Nice. Alright. That's pretty solid. In my sights. Let's drop it on the Beastmaster. She's going to be alive next turn, almost certainly. So, what are you doing? Kill fiends, she says. He. I don't know. Ow. Pain. Okay. Uh, that hurt. With grace and no. Uh, we can now use Slash a bunch. So where do we have an opening? There's an opening right there. We can use it on this one. It's not going to do any damage, is it? Oh, it sure as hell is. Okay. Opening on this side? No. Can't use it again? Why not? Can only apply once for one target per round. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Uh, we have solutions for that. First, give this one a good old chop. Zero damage. Why are you doing zero damage? It's really not very good. All right, dance through it. Zoom, zoom. And then we'll Death Whisper this one, I guess. Okay, 22 damage is better than zero. And then you can slash this one. Did zero damage again. Are you kidding me? Okay, and then we can just dance over onto this one. Ignore attacks of opportunity. And we can slash the uh, Beastmaster. Okay, that dealt a tiny bit of damage, I guess. And uh, I guess we'll just do a normal attack on the Watch. Chimera. All right, that did something. We got another slash? No, we don't. There's no one left. All right. Not very effective, but that's okay. Ulfar, can you shoot the beasties? Are you going to use Control Shot to tell Marzai to get down? No, I don't think that's what you would do. <laughs> I have become the All-Father's worthy instrument! <laughs> okay, so we could charge. Can we? Apparently we cannot. What if we move? The then we can charge. Is on the hunt. No, we cannot. Why not? Well, uh, it was run and gun. See how the wolf succeeds. And you can shoot them again. None can do this better. My hand is thunder. Still alive. My strike is ruined. to someone lesser. Okay, um, I am a little confused. What do you have here? You just have a regular ass bolt gun, huh? But we can't use. Oh, we can charge that so one. Okay. Well, that's good. But, I mean, sure. Oh, yeah, confident approach. Should have done that first. Whoops, wrong button. Okay. Heinrich, why don't you get in there? Um, iron arm yourself first. I won't object to it. Iron arm seems good. Drop a word of the emperor. I don't know if we need to do that. I think I'd rather just do damage. 
The okay. Emperor is Do we have any openings side. anywhere? Not where they need to be. But of course. So let's Lord drop Captain. on on this Chimera. We can charge it. And then uh, get some Death Whisper ready. We can also drop a warp speed on For ourselves. Glory. And charge it. I won't That'll kill it, it, actually. Your reckoning is due. Wow. Alright. It's dead. Now, unfortunately, I am in a not great position. However, we have things that we can still do. So, we can siphon life. Let's see to it. Okay, zero damage. Very nice. But of course, Drop an endure. Lord Captain. Ah, they have the uh, the instability thing. I remember phase shift. Every second successful attack. I need to remember that. Okay, so we can damage it now. Um, yeah, totally forgot that. So, who do we want to give an extra turn to? Wouldn't mind giving an extra turn to, uh, Marazai, actually. Because Marazai can then go and do some work against the, uh, the Chimera right there. So let's do that. We can't hit him with this again. That's okay. What can we do? We drop a forewarning on... Heinrichs? Actually. We drop a voice of command on Ulfar, because why the hell not? And then... Let's make sure you I'll get crit happen. so that you die. And then we'll give Marazai his turn. I'll see to Marazai it can go and just kill it. Do we want to use this? I think I would rather just with grace and advance on it this way with Dance Macabre. Yeah. Goodbye. Wow. Uh, wow. That one's dead. <laughs> okay. Not much left to him. With grace and I'm gonna run on over here. And we can Death Whisper the uh, Beastmaster here. We can do a Dispatch, too. I mean, Dispatch with Primary Weapon? What's that going to do? Let me check. 50% more damage. And it'll do some damage. 111. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's move the front line right here. Should have done that. Immediately, actually, but... Uh, I didn't even put it in a great place. We'll drop perfect timing again, because that's now going to hit all three of them. And that seems good. <coughs> Idira is dying from poison. Ow. You are in pain. You can heal yourself you. a little. And why don't you run on over here. What is this foreboding? And let's start what? stacking Was that you? some funny what? business there. We'll drop an exposed weakness on the homunculus as well. Homunculus, Beastmaster, and then I'm gonna scream at it. But of course. 61 damage. It's not very much. Sensory deprivation? Do you already have sensory deprivation? You do not. Let's change that. Alright. Sensory deprivation is now applied. It is blinded. Great. Um. Forewarning on Cyrene, and. What else can we do? We can drop a prescience on. Myself for next turn. I should have done that earlier, but that's okay. Ilya, goodbye. <laughs> Even the monsters of the obscure sectors of the webway feared her and bled out of sight. Celia's exile continued in solitude until a great faceless swordsman barred her way. He wished to test her. Okay. I don't want to skip the whole thing. I wish I could just click. All right, what do we got? Hmm, a slith. Just one? You alone? You a special slith. Your doom has been foretold. Slith military artist. Okay. We start off back here. Okay, so we'll put you there. Marzipan, you can go up here. Ulfar. Tank it. We're just going to do the same goddamn thing. Well, I fix what ain't broken. Uh, you do have a gun, actually, so... Let's be cautious. Um, how do I want to approach this? I think we want to keep him there, right? So we'll drop the front line right there. Back line's going to... Or the rear's going to be right where it is. I'll see to it personally. Or it was, I should say. And 
we'll drop the back line right up me. there. And then... Forewarning on Marazai. Once again, I think that, that was a good strategy. And then we can drop Prescience on Irliat. I'll see to it, personally. So I should have dropped it on Heinrichs. And then we can do Warp Speed. The two of us. And, okay, so this time it did use up my extra turn. That is unfortunate. Alright, let's just make, make sure that happen. he takes a crit when he takes the next hit against him. So that's probably going to be Idira screaming at him. Miss. Alright. Our born predator does not become prey! So Idira can go there. Can you scream at him from right there? You sure can. I don't know if that's going to do all that much damage, but let's, uh, actually, let's not have her damage him, because... We'll do. Let's give some, uh, forewarning there, and we'll drop a prescience on... Nope, oh, that is... Scream. We'll drop a prescience here on Heinrichs. Was... Was that you? And then I'm going to sensory deprive the Slith, because that's always good. What's your other weapon? Is a gun. All right. Then... What we're going to do here is expose weakness, because he's got four stacks of uh, the thing on him. So that's going to be 40% reduction to most of his stats. Ah, I should have moved the front line. Oh well. I think we'll be okay. I feel like we shouldn't get the ability to heal between these uh, encounters. Okay. This yeah. tedium is beneath me. Elusive Shadow. Perfect spot. Are we actually in the perfect spot? That is the question. Can I shoot him? Yes. We are indeed in the perfect spot, so I will shoot him. If I must. Do you have a, uh, an opening? You do not. Let's remedy that. Two actions left. Well, let's do a precise attack. Pet, and just get the single, single shot in here. See what this is going to do. Fortune favors nice. the swift. Solid damage. Why did I not foresee Ow. this? Their fragility has okay. been exposed. She's a down. Attempt. That's not good. <laughs> so. I yearn for agony. Marzai, why don't you, uh, charge this jerk? I think Marzai can probably you kill him. Before me, pray thing. <laughs> pray thing, huh? What are you, a skaven? So we can attack it, right? Or do we want to elusive shadow first? It's elusive shadow first. Okay. Then we can, uh, I don't think poison is going to do much to it, so let's chop it up with the, uh, regular old sickle here. And we'll chop it up with the regular old sickle here again. It's not very much damage. Uh, endure. Watch. Why not? Okay. You're gonna move away, huh? And trigger an attack opportunity. Okay, weird. He's not doing much. Not the most intimidating enemy. I'll put apparently. my psychic abilities to use. Yeah, you're gonna iron arm. And we got an opening right there, so that's perfect. Charge him. Naturally. Oh, I just hit him with the stick. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Scratch that. It did, it did damage regardless. Get him. Nothing nice. Stands against me. Uh, standard attack now. Still got an opening here, so. Him with a standard Let's old attack. Holy nice. Smite your enemies. And uh, endure. Let's heal up Marzai. Definitely in character for, uh... I won't object to it. To do. For he fixing up Marzai is, uh, top priority for him. He's also gonna bless him. Okay, word of the Emperor. But of running. Course, and fuck it, we'll do Shield of the Emperor because it's free. Why not? Psychic powers aren't dangerous. Okay, you attacking now? You get parried. Filthy casual. Ow. My is strong. Okay, charge it. Close combat. Give him a whack. Alright. We also gotta confident approach this. 
Uh, chop him up good. Actually, shoot him first, then chop him up good. Boom. Then, uh, you can kick him. <laughs> Kicked him to death. Nice. Bolstered by Sirleil's, or bested by Sirleil's hand, the swordsman knelt and recognized their skill. He was no mere mortal, but the gods' creation with respect for all things flawless. As a reward for her victory, he offered Sirleil a gift. The way to a place where she could claim her vengeance. Is this Kekaros? I think this is Kekaros speaking here. Maybe not, though. In a forgotten fragment of the webway, she found a lair guarded by an ancient beast of immeasurable flesh. Celio delivered blow upon blow, and yet her strikes could not diminish the creature's body or mute its roar. What are we fighting? Okay, just a grotesque. Roar! Roar! Rip! Rip! Sophisticated. <laughs> Alright, uh, the perfect specimen is what this one is. So let's, let's do the same. Relatively the same. We'll change things up a tiny bit. Alright, Irliette did take some damage, so she's actually, she's not starting at full health, so... Uh, I guess there is a bit of, uh... Some of the injuries do carry over. Crippled arm. Alright, well that's the best possible injury she could have gotten, because she doesn't need arms anyways. So, uh... Engage it in melee again, of course. We're right here. I'll make it happen. And... Back line... Okay, right there. Who if not me? And let's move up. Hmm. How do I want to open I'm this? I'm ready for whatever comes. Honestly, I think I want to do the same thing again. Have Mara's eye run in. I'm sending him in first happen. because he's expendable. It's as good as. At least done. that's what I'm telling Heinrichs. All right. So we can use Dance for Cop to get ourselves into position where we can charge. Then we're gonna charge. Oh. Nice. A little bit of damage there. Then we can get a death whisper. Don't display rebel in your terror. Then why don't we move ourselves over on that side? All right. So I'm here. What else can I do? Prescience on I'll Heinrichs. Why not? We'll do it this way this time. Don't think I need this just yet. Inscribed soul. Mm. Don't need that. Okay. Idira. Idira's gonna advance a bit. They who descend the future on the battlefield. Drop a sensory Anything deprivation else? on it. And then we can start stacking um exploits. Pressing it yourself. And then uh three met it. Stop it! Damage. 83 damage, not bad. And you can, uh... You got full warning, you have prescience. Why don't you full warn yourself as well, since you're standing out in the open? Okay. What's it doing? Oh, it's going at her. Oh, it's taken down instantly through a charge. Oh, it's got a gun. Of course it's got a gun. An Icor, uh, Icor gun, or whatever the hell it's called. Alright, perfect if spot is active, so Iliad's gonna drop that. She is going to do a Lucid Shadow. We're gonna do the whole shebang. Poised to strike. I understand your intent. You gotta do a lot of damage to this thing. Uh, aim for the opening. Doesn't course. have one. So, we gotta create one. And we'll do a this take aim. And a killing edge. Me. As per the usual. If I must. No weakness wow. is hidden from my sight. Alright. Ulfar, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna charge it? Why not? None can do this better than a warrior of the Old Father! Probably not, no. We could just unload point blank here. Yeah. 
Goodbye. <laughs> the beast of immeasurable flesh fell, for the infinitude of its being was no match for the needle of Sirleil's focused will. She ran the beast through, pierced its heart, and ripped it free. The heart was the black crystal of Seha, and bes the bestower of power. Okay. With Seika in hand, Thiliel returned to Kumora and brought down those who had served her and later betrayed her. She came to the threshold of her arena and shouted the name of her apprentice, the one who had once dethroned her. And hear her the apprentice did. The succubus in Historia answered the challenge and descended the steps towards her. Oh, you're coming in directly. And killed her, and took Seika, the bestower of power, from her cold hand. Oh God! <laughs> All right, here we go. This is this is the final fight. We got Kakeros in here directly. She's got an incubus. Two Incubus Guardians, um, well, which Guardians, galaxy. fucking Agonist Pain Engine, lovely, uh, what else do we got? Yep, alright, and a couple more Witch Guardians, and Kekiro's 900 hit points! Well, uh, this is gonna be the fight, guys, this is gonna be it. The final battle of this act, I think, probably, certainly seems that way. Uh, Irliat, why don't you sit back here? Uh, that's a little... in danger, actually. I don't want you back there. Cyrene? Where do I put Cyrene? Marzai? Marzipan? You go here. You know what? Little fart, you're gonna go deal with the fucking pain engine. Heinrichs. You and, uh... Marzai, because you're the best of friends, are gonna go there. Uh, Idira, anywhere where we can get a good AoE. So I'm gonna put her right here. It's a little bit dangerous. So she's not at half health this time. Interesting. So we do heal through it. Okay. It's my turn. Uh, uh, what are we going to do first? Let's drop a front line right there. Because we're going to, I think, send Ulfar in to go and distract that thing. Does it have the just kill enemy in one hit? No. Shadow protection. Grants Shadow Protection to Kekiros for one round. Okay, so we need to kill this thing. Um, rear, once again, Who, here. If not me? And back line, I'm going to drop the back line right here, I think. Okay, I'll make it happen. Do it that way. That's fine. Okay. Who is going in? You're definitely going in, so you're getting a bit of, uh, a bit of that business. And then, uh, well, Prescience on... Heinrichs. Warp speed. Get that, or perfect timing, I mean. Let's get that going on these two. They're going to be in close combat. And, uh, let's give a round to uh, Ulfar here. I can't. Okay. Well, then I'm going to move make here. Some opportunities. And give a round to Ulfar. I'll see to it personally. All right. Cops an approach. And let's immediately open this up with a charge. Okay, interesting how he does that. Why did he shoot with the gun? I'm confused. Well, can you? No, he can't move now. Okay. Wish you could control where he actually lands a little bit better. Okay, 43 damage and kick. Oh shit. I don't know if I wanted to do that. <laughs> I didn't expect that thing to actually move. Uh, I won't stand for it. Yeah, move over here, actually. Taking calculated risk is my second nature. Drop a consign. So that somebody can actually do some damage to it. And then you're going to move into cover right there. Because Iliad can shoot it. Okay. Let's... Cover me! Drop a sensory deprivation on... Kakeros, actually. And what are we going to do then? 
Well, there's a psychic assault right here. That's going to do some fucking work. We move even closer and do even more. In the Be out of cover, but let me hit everyone. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So before I do that, let's make sure that the one that matters is taking a bit of damage. A little bit more damage, I should say. Right. And does anybody need forewarning? I need forewarning. Of course. <laughs> Dira needs it. Psychic Assault. So, we can go this way, or we can hit Kekiros. Let's actually take care of Kekiros' thralls. We, have, we can keep the uh, other things on her for later. Alright, that's pretty good. I didn't prescience myself, did I? I should have done that first. Well, we got it for later. Was that you? Hopefully I survive. Alright. Um, yep. Okay, here we at. Perfect spot. I understand your intent. I am not your Zenos pet monkey. If it serves your cause. In for the opening. This tedium is beneath me. Okay. Um, elusive shadow. And blast him. Ancestors, guide me. That's damage. Okay, now he's dropping shadow protection, and he's got. Ah, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Gnarly. Okay. So that was its. Oh, it just got a turn because it took a bunch of damage, I guess. Is that a thing that it can do? Power from pain, maybe? No. Uh, pain fury, maybe. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Um, Devitalization, that was the ability. Or no. I don't know what Devitalization is, but I don't think I like it. Okay. The Witch Guardians are not doing anything, I guess. Kekiros is going to attack. Is that all you've got? A little far and do nothing. Nice. <laughs> More Shadow Protection on Kekiros, so we can't do any damage. All right. Fucking Yura is down. Nice. 43 damage from Attack of Opportunity there. And it created a Toxin Era. The Incubus is going to attack Ulfar and do zero damage. <laughs> Okay, Incubus is going to attack and miss. Oh, is it an AoE? Alright, well, Ulfar's turn. Well, he's kind of where he wants to be. I, I, I want to take on this, this pain engine, to be fair. So let's kick this guy out of the way. <laughs> Get out of here. You call this a strike. And, uh... Yeah, charge the... Okay, I need to switch these around. My hand is thunder. My strike is okay, that's his turn. Now it's Marzai's turn. Elusive Shadow. You have an opening on you. You've got two openings on you, so... Well, I mean... Breakthrough time. Am I right? But let's first do some regular old hits here. So, a standard old slash on this Incubus Guardian. Gets parried. Alright. <laughs> Who's the filthy casual now? All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get him with this. Do a bit of damage there, and uh, well, we can slash this guy up. Move over that way, and then why don't we move right on over here? And we can smash this one. This is so cool. <laughs> and then we come right in here. Like, it's... Oh, you can only do it three times. All right, but that's just fucking awesome. Like, it didn't do that much damage, but it is so cool thematically. All right. Uh, Heinrichs. Iron Let's Arm. To it. So the Incubus is going to do what he wants. Unless I do something about it. Can I revive her? No. Can't do that. Um, where do we go and deal with that one? So, yeah, I kind of think I need to go and deal with that one. Maybe we should drop warp speed on Naturally. myself. Myself an extra AP as well. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I'm going to engage this one in standard old close combat. 
and hope that we for just the kill him. Glory. For the throne's glory. Psychic force. He's probably not going to like that. How much more damage does that do? Not all that much. It's a bit more. It's an extra action point. My action point starved a bit. I won't object to it. Standard attack it is. And then we uh, we death whisper. Nine damage only. That's not much. And then uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. We're in a not the best location here. Let's see. Right. It's kind of hoping you would do a little bit more. So we'll endure. And I guess we'll do. Uh, not Lord of the Emperor. To do this. No. Okay. We can still get. But of course, Marisai Lord in. Captain. Okay, Shield of the Emperor. To it. Can we reinvigorate anybody? No one's in range. We can actually get Marzai with it. Why the hell not? Okay. What's this? Light of the Emperor. All allies affected by Word of the Emperor healed for 11 to 20 wounds. Let's see to it. Sure. Uh-oh. Alright, Serene. Um, that thing's there. I don't like it. So let's move over here. Let's, uh, we can juice up Irliet. She's already got prescience. She does not have prescience. Give her prescience. And then let's give forewarning to Ulfar. And then, I think it's time to uh, do our usual business here right. of just buff somebody the hell up and give her an extra shot, see if we can't take out this Two, pain engine. Alright, three actions. Killing Edge is free. That's nice. Well. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Poised to strike. No, now Killing Edge is not free. Alright. If it serves your cause. Aim for the opening. What do I do? Take aim? Affected by exploit. It does have an exploit. But that, this is better with uh, more exploits. So I think... Honestly, maybe dropping some exploits on it is going to be better I served here. So let's just drop more exploits and then killing monkey. edge it. Hopefully this finishes it off. Wow. She missed. Ouch! <laughs> that sucks. Oh boy. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> Move the front line. I'll see to it personally. Okay. Yeah! Well, now it's our turn again. Not fucking miss this time. Still has the uh, aim for the opening on it, so we can do a precise attack. If I must. Poise to strike. Then more exploits. This just seems to be a lot of fucking me. exploits on it. And then I think I can just finish it off like this. Right, we don't fucking miss again. Goodbye. Slips beyond the veil. It is dead. Isn't that just lovely? All right, well, we got a free elusive shadow, which I'm definitely going to use. And then we can start shooting Kekaros, because why the hell not? Aim shot on her. We'll do some damage. Nice. And then we can do a dismantling attack to seriously debuff her, or we can do a dispatch on her to do even more damage. I think a dismantling attack is going to be better. It's going to reduce her dodge and armor. My heart sinks with the thrill of battle. No weakness nice. is hidden from my sight. Okay. Toxic Needle, you suck. Yeah, get Opportunity Attack. Toxic Needle, you suck. Akeros is going in again, getting an Attack of Opportunity. What's she doing now? You gonna shoot him? Three damage, nice. It's a lot of damage on the Ulfar you did there. Okay. Well, uh, they weren't very effective. What's Ulfar gonna do? We could shoot these... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at all that. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Beautiful. My strike is ruined. So we could charge this incubus here. Why not? I have become the All Father's worthy instrument. 
So, wildfire. And uh, I guess we'll do a cleave here. Get more stacks of uh, versatility going. Get an AoE, and then we'll, we'll kick him. Get even more stacks of versatility going. Pen versatility. All right. Good stuff. Okay, Marazai. What are you going to do? Elusive Shadow to start with. That's what you're going to do. And then we're going to do Breakthrough. Because Breakthrough is fun. <laughs> Okay, you have an opening right there, so I think we're going to start on you. Yeah, attack of opportunity, have fun with that. Okay, so... First things first. Slash. Slash. Those Venom Strike. I mean... We could just... Death Whisper this one, maybe? Get rid of it? How much damage? Okay, 100% chance here. Later. Oh, it's still alive. Okay. Then, uh, why don't we go on this way? Dance Macabre. Saunter our way over there. We'll slash this one up. Lovely. And then we'll slash this one up. What do you mean I can't slash this one up? No suitable path to target. I call bullshit. Alright, fine. We'll go this way. Now I have a suitable path to target. Alright. Death by a thousand cuts. Why don't you buff up Marazai? Give him some extra strength. And uh, I think we got to get rid of this damn Incubus here. Being a little annoying. Psychic attack? Yeah, just do it. Uh-oh. That's not good. Naturally. Oh, there's another one here. Isn't that nice? Okay, that's unfortunate that they are here. Let's see. Well, um, yeah, I'm not using any more psychic powers, so we're just gonna have to wait this one out. No one to charge. Nah. Okay, another attack of opportunity from Marazai. Parried. Okay, Cyrene. Um, where does Cyrene gotta go? Let's send Cyrene to go and boost Ulfar this time. That sounds fun. No psychic powers, though. We've, uh, we've had our fun. <laughs> okay. Give Ulfar a turn. What's Ulfar gonna do? I mean, that looks kind of fun. This also looks kind of fun. Let's do this. One dead Incubus. And then we can kick this one away. <laughs> All right, what am I gonna do? Switch to my gun, that's what I'm gonna do. I can do that. Front line, let's drop this right I'll on over here. I am already in the back line, so that's perfect. So we can shoot these two. All right, 23 damage. It's not much, but it's something. You're Liet. Do you have good line of sight on someone? You could pick off one of these jerks. You know, why don't you shoot the downed incubus? If it serves your cause. Goodbye. No more. And then uh, we'll drop elusive shadow just for next turn. I think we can drop and aim for the opening on. No, Kekaros is fine. We'll start stacking some uh, stuff on Kekaros. We can drop a poise to strike on her as well. Can't attack again this turn, but that's okay. We'll do a take aim, and then do an in my sights. Hope that Kakeros is indeed in our sights at the start of Iliad's next turn. Okay, Heinrich's getting some attacks of opportunity. These witches are doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just don't get near him. It's an Astartes. What are you thinking? I don't even know what happened there. He just was like, yeah, have some attacks of opportunity. Uh, well, more Daka. Oh, we only got three shots left. Gotta reload. That's unfortunate. We can go here. Um, we could switch to the bolt gun, actually. Get even more damage. Oh, yeah. Or we drop a rapid fire. Get even more Daka. There's gonna be a lot of Daka. Look at all this Daka. 
All right, that was that was exciting. Uh, wildfire. Switch guns. That one's reloaded. Full auto again. With the bolt pistol. Kakaros isn't looking too good. Uh, what can we do now? We can run and gun. Shoot her again. <laughs> then we can do firearm mastery. This is it's a lot of a lot of daca in one turn. I'm not gonna lie. We could shoot that one. Why not? Missed. Okay. Unfortunate. Well, shoot Kakeros again. Shoot her again. And that's it. Okay. Well, that was a productive turn. Well done, Ulfar. <laughs> Fucking arch militants, man. Uh, we'll let Heinrichs deal with that one. You know what? You wanted the killing blow, right? What? There you go. All right, we'll give it to him. So we can't use breakthrough for some reason. Can't be using the same round as charge. Okay. That would be the reason. Um, well, let's see here. What can we do? Aim for the opening. Is that worth it? I only got two action points. I should probably just use attacks. With grace and Finish off the uh, rest of these wretches here. It is oh, ten, huh? Okay, elusive shadow. Should have dropped that earlier, but no. Okay. Looking good. Yep, you are done with that one, apparently. Okay, well. Get me a I'm almost dead. Uh, this is the last one, so. I won't object to it. Get Heinrichs. Kill him. That's it, huh? Or is it? No, there isn't still an enemy left. One fucking witch over here. God damn it. All right. Well. Siphon life. But of course, Lord Captain. We've got ourselves momentum. Ain't that something? Uh. Nope. Not doing any more psychic powers. Idira is back up. That's of interest. How did that happen? Who knows? Idira, can you kill that one? Maybe use the gun though. Let's not screw things up by. On it. Accidentally summoning like a bloodthirster, although that would be cool. Anything is. Let me drop a drop the back line right here, we do. just so that you get some extra bonuses, and then uh, then shoot it. Owie! All right, Heinrichs, you have two action points. Interesting. Uh, can't move, but I guess we'll charge on over. Just turn. Okay. Uh, well, I can do a whole lot of things here. So we can finest hour somebody. Let's finest hour Heinrichs. You should feel honored to witness this. Heinrichs, it's your finest hour. Why don't you go kill that guy? Gal. The Inquisition Who knows? sends their regards. The Inquisition sends their regards. Let's see to it. I love how he says it. <laughs> I'm done and the fight's way. over. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> More of them. A whole other wave. Oh, it's Nocturne. With me, my merchant vagabond, to make haste. Something, 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 something. Oh. What is going on here? The They're fighting each other. Hold on. We must loot the dead. This whole survival business is secondary. So, this is a fine-edged Hecatari Poison Blade. We'll make sure we keep one. Is this witch armor better? Ghost plate armor. That could be much better than what we have here. A sharpened Venom Blade is going to be better than what we got, too. Uh, Drukari Clave. I think we got a couple of claves, but I'm not so sure. We'll add these to inventory. Oops, not what I needed. We'll, we'll keep one. Collect all those. Uh, is there anyone else left that I can loot? Yeah, there's this one, the skilled Beastmaster. What did you drop? Blood Blight X-Rifle. Ooh, that looks cool. 
Oh well. Okay, the damage is alright. Attacks of this rifle inflict the blood blight effect on the target. At the start of the target's turn, all creatures in the two cell radius suffer the blood blight effect. If these creatures suffer impact, piercing, or rending damage, they also suffer an additional plus four direct damage and bleeding four. That is fucking cool. All right, absolutely, we're taking that. And uh, let's uh, let's get out of here and uh, make our escape. Hopefully, Nocturne of Oblivion. Got his plans in order. I imagine he does. He is a solitaire. You absolutely have to have your shit in order to even be a solitaire, so. Man, Harlequins are cool. Well, here we are. On the eve of our escape. The eve of our... Escape is going to have to wait till the next episode, though. So, yeah. This is where I'm going to uh, leave this one off. It was good fun. The uh, The final battle was pretty cool. It could have been a little more challenging, to be perfectly honest. It was pretty easy. Uh, I don't know if I'm just over-leveled or geared super well or what now. Or just built the characters really well. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too good for this game. I am playing it on Daring. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Maybe I need to amp up the difficulty for future playthroughs. We shall see. Alright guys, drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it, and I will catch you all in the next one. Ash Herder out.